Today, I want to talk to you about a new era of talent spotting. An era in which we focus on potential with the same meticulousness as on skills and competencies. Studies imply that today's students will enter jobs that do not exist yet. I believe that is a myth. What I do believe is that the digital transformation will create intelligent enterprises that will eliminate routine tasks and create higher value tasks in leadership, management, and in expert roles. These tasks will be based predominantly on critical thinking, on creativity, communication, and collaboration skills. These observations translate perfectly well into today's potential indicators used by search and selection professionals. Number one, determination and courage. Number two, curiosity and insight. And finally, engagement and collaboration. So the full potential equation consists of three elements. The first is knowledge, skills and competencies. Know your stuff. You, this, this, of course, pays into your, your credibility and potential. Number two, the potential indicators we, we said that are measured. This is about determination, curiosity and insight and engagement, the ability to, to connect. And there is a third element. This third element is about your inner journey. It's about your awareness of yourself, your true strengths, your true vulnerabilities, your blind spots, and your bounded rationalities that turn out in your life, that you have to consider, that you have to think about, where you get feedback and you work on yourself. If you haven't started your inner journey, your potential will always be a little bit limited. So, how can you prepare for any assessment, for any situation where you are valued, not only your competencies, but also your potential? Consider to answer the following questions. When was a no not a no? When did you consider it necessary to go where you did not have allowance, where you do, did not have agreement and you still believed it's the right way to move forward? What was the most difficult leadership or influencing situation in your whole life? When did it really feel tough to influence other people? What are the real insights on the industry you work in? Not what you read in the newspaper, not what is in the corporate, corporate brochure. Your own insights on what's happening in your industry.